I'm Jeffrey Moss on assignment for Pottery Barn. When Pottery Barn selected South Florida as a shooting location for their outdoor furniture collections, key to that decision was the beauty and serenity offered by Isla Morada and the Moorings Resort. There was a gentleman that had approached the present owner, Hubert Baudouin. He said, I have a photo team and um, we'd love to use your beach to come and shoot. He was uh, um, very persuasive and then Hubert agreed to let them come and do their photo shoot. And from that point on, it just took off. This particular pier mm -hmm. is one of those truly famous moments. I mean, it's been in advertising, it's been in commercials, it's been in catalogs. There were a couple of hurricanes where most of that dock was either laying on the beach or floating somewhere, mm. but we just asked for a repair permit, yeah. put it back together. We did not want to rebuild it. No. And we just want to keep it just as it is. So here we are at Blue Charlotte. And this is Blue Charlotte. Pottery Barn just finished shooting here. This is a wonderful place for teams to rent because yeah. they can sleep here yeah. and enjoy the home and also do a lot of their shooting here. So yeah, it works right. out really well. It looks like the building that, uh, that, that Pierre's is in. Well, actually, Pierre's was fashioned after this building, All Pierre right. being Hubert's father. The great thing about Pierre's is that it was also a shooting location for Pottery Barn. If you can imagine, at the end of the day, you know, we kind of moved all, the, all their furniture back and, and moved the Pottery Barn furniture out and uh, came right inside here to Pierre's for a drink. What I love so much about this bar is the classic island decor. And I can certainly recommend to you the mojito, which here at Pierre's is among the best in the world. One time home to Ernest Hemingway, the charming and pleasantly remote city of Key West has been a stopping point for artists of all kinds. I visited the Audubon House and spoke with Veronique Murphy. We're called the Audubon House because John James Audubon came to Key West in 1831. He painted here, he collected specimens, which he then incorporated in his artwork. While he was in the Keys, he only stayed approximately six weeks, but he managed to paint 19 birds. The attention I mean, to each, detail. I mean, each little, each little line feather. Of the feather is there. Seems like he would have been working around the clock. Oh, he was obsessed. Look at the iridescence Boy. on the neck feathers. It's, Look at the purple hue. It's incredible. It really is so beautiful. When on assignment, it's wonderful to stay at great locations which capture the spirit and mood of a season. I stayed at just such a location in Key West, Simonton Court, and visited with James Mark Ward. Yeah, the cottage we're sitting at and the other four are, were originally homes for the cigar factory workers. Mm -hmm. But the building across from us, the main inn, back in the late 1800s, it was a very large Cuban cigar factory. A lot of cigars being made here in Key West. It was mm -hmm. a big industry. The big pool at the very end that has the uh, large brickwork around it. Yeah, in the corners. That was the old drying warehouse where mm -hmm. they dried the Cuban tobacco. But mm -hmm. underneath was the cistern. And all these roofs had a complex gutter system. So you collected your rainwater if you wanted to drink water. This is actually called Hurricane Alley. It's an actual street. <laughs> if you look, you can see the telephone poles between the palm really? trees here. What's but, it like to be in Key West during a hurricane? Uh, it's like sitting with a jet engine sitting next to you revving up and then for really? about 12 hours with no power. Oh, man. Simonton Court's on about 12 feet plus above sea level, mm. so it's very vulnerable to yeah. that type of washover or surge. Yeah. But the people are very resilient. So ends another photo shoot on assignment for Pottery Barn. All that's left is to enjoy the season itself. It's summertime and the living is easy. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>